we have converged here uh, as CSOs working on anti-corruption uh, together with the anti with the anti-corruption coalition, with ActionAid, and with Transparency International Uganda, want to raise awareness again about corruption and its forms, but also what we can do to get the views of the people on what can be done to handle this thing of corruption. One will note that uh, corruption and debt are intertwined because we borrow and then we are supposed to fund our development uh, aspirations. But because we fail somehow, uh, that is why uh, you know we fail to pay back. And yet the, the common man, you and me, the taxpayer, are the ones that are going to pay back this money. As we speak, uh, government or Uganda is indebted to the tune of 56 trillion. And by end of December, we think we'll have hit the 60 trillion mark. What do we use this money that we borrow for? Uh, one, we borrow when we are not ready, when there's no planning that has been done. Uh, sometimes we borrow and uh, those who are responsible to implement actually do, you know, eat the money or misuse the money. And yet the common man, you and me, the taxpayer is the one to pay back. Uh, according to research, as we stand now, you and me and our children are supposed to pay 1.2 million per year to fund this debt, to pay back this debt. So uh, we see, we want to appreciate the efforts of government, of course, but uh, we see the good laws that we have put in place and the good institutions that are supposed to, to implement these laws have been bogged down. They are no longer independent. And why? Because the hand that has supported this is the same hand that we see defeating the efforts. Well, I'll, I'll give examples. While um, we saw the six billion handshake, yes, and there was wi widespread outcry against it, we saw the president coming out clearly and telling Kosase that he was misled in this matter and he pledged to pay back the six trillion, uh, which we thought was not right. One, because uh, the people who are responsible will get away scot free, they are not punished, and yet the taxpayer is the one who will shoulder this burden. We also have the case of uh, the Honorable Kutesa, uh, when he was accused of, uh, of receiving a bribe to the tune of uh, 500,000 US dollars. The president said that while he thought this was a gift or a donation to charity, he would investigate, he would institute investigations and uh, two years later we are still waiting to see if the investigations were done, if they are ongoing. But we also saw the Honorable Mukula's case where he was convicted under Gavi uh, by the court and uh, he appealed, on appeal the president uh, offered to foot his bill, of course his lawyer's cost. So with the such actions, these actions are contrary to what you know the institutions that fight uh, corruption should be you know doing. He should be seen to support and not to bog down these institutions. Because we remember the former IG, uh, Ms. Mulia Gonja, said that uh, while she wanted to incarcerate or to arrest and prosecute the big fish uh, or some officials, they would invoke the president's name and then get away with it. So we want to see strict, the president being strict with this fight against corruption, because that is the only way that we can get rid of this vice.